Aubrey Whitfield here again, and I just want to show you a very quick demo of Fab Filters Pro Q3 EQ plugin. It's a dynamic EQ, and I just really, really love it. Um, I only recently got it, and when I first got it, I was really unsure. I didn't really know how to use it, what benefit it was to me. You know, I'm so used to using Logic's built-in EQ. Um, but it's just so cool at kind of getting rid of problematic frequencies. So first of all, I've recorded this um, guitar part um, using, I'll show you this actually, this really cool contact instrument called Session Guitarist Electric Sunburst. And what this basically does is it, it's a guitar, loads of different guitars, rock guitars, clean guitars, um, you know, heavy metal guitars. And you just play one note on your keyboard and it will translate it into the nearest chord. So it's really cool for putting down some quick ideas. So I'm gonna show you how this Fab Filter Pro works at grabbing the dynamic range and showing you which frequencies are a bit problematic. So let's have a look. Okay, I'm gonna hover my mouse over the frequency spectrum and it will freeze it. There you go. So I can see that's a problematic frequency. Let's reduce that. Let's do it again. take these up. Actually, that's a bit too much of a boost, I think, so let's take that down. So, it's a really good way of kind of seeing that frequency spectrum right in front of you and quickly on the fly doing cuts and, and boosts to make that instrument really, really blend into the mix a bit more. That is not just the only thing it can do, believe me, it can do loads of other things. You know, I believe that you can copy the EQ frequency range of another reference track and import that into this, which is just incredible when you think of what that can do. Um, just something else I've done EQ-wise on this guitar part is I've used uh, Logic Pro's built-in channel EQ to apply a high pass at frequencies below 100 hertz. Um, that's what I would do on most guitar instruments. I can't think of a, a, a guitar where I wouldn't do that. It just gets rid of these low frequencies that just cause a load of unwanted noise in a mix. So if you were to kind of, uh, you know, get rid of these frequencies here, it should automatically clutter up that, uh, sorry, declutter that mix. Um, the reason why I'm using this rather than the Fab Filter Pro Q is just simply because you know, I've been using it for years and years to use high pass, and it's just really, really quickly to do. But they are the my two go-to EQs now uh, that I use on nearly every mix, um, and I really recommend that you try it out. It's really, really cool. Okay, thanks, guys. I uh, hope hope you found that little uh, demonstration helpful. Thank you.